Good evening, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. Come, join me in reading God's word, his love letter to us in my cozy room. <laughs> yes, my room is comfortable and I like it in here. This is my dwelling place as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your loving kindness every morning and your faithfulness at night. Oh, we praise you, God, and we glorify you, oh God. Thank you that you are always with us. You never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We want to declare our confidence in God's protection and also your promised words to us, Father, that God, when we say that it's impossible, God is saying that all things are possible. When we say that we are too tired, God, thank you that you are giving us rest. When we say that nobody really loves me, thank you, Father, that you love us so very much. Hallelujah. Yes, because you died on the cross for us. For God so loved the world. Hallelujah. Yes. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that Whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's why you love us so very much. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God, that when we say that we can't figure things out, God, you are saying to us that I will direct your steps. God, when we say that uh, we can't do it, thank you, Father, that you saying to us, you can do all things. Yes, God, through Christ, we give us strength. We can do all things. And when we say that we are not able, God, you are saying to us that I am able. I can do it for you. I can, you can carry it through. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. And when we say that we can't, forgive ourselves you say that i forgive you god thank you that when we say that i can't manage father thank you that you are saying to us i will supply all your needs all hallelujah all that our needs thank you father and when we say that i'm afraid god you're saying to us that i have not given you the spirit of fear but God, you have say, you are say, you said on the word of God that you've given us the spirit of love and of sound mind. Thank you, Father. And uh, when we say that, I'm always worried and frustrated. God, you're saying to us that, cast all your cares on me, because I care for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And when we say that. I'm not smart enough. God, you're saying to us that I will give you wisdom. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. When we say that I feel all alone, God, you're saying to us that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, O God. Thank you for your promised words. Hallelujah. Oh, we magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that... We acknowledge you, Lord, in this place, in this, in our presence, Father God. Lord, thank you that your presence is with us right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are here. Yes, Father. You are here among us. For we have gathered in your name. Yes, Jesus' name. We can feel your presence in this place. You are here among us. You are enthroned upon our praise. You are here, here to heal and here to save you are here 
in our midst how we've waited for moments like this have your way in this place holy spirit come do as you wish we are changed as you move in our midst father god thank you that you are in our midst right now because god you have said that when two or three are gathered together in your name so you are in the midst and thank you father god that it is not only me right now because lord your precious holy spirit in me father we are in this together god and also lord there will be someone or anybody somebody will be watching this later on as as i will upload this and we are in this together father hallelujah and god thank you jesus that lord as we read your word help us to understand father give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your father as we read your word in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah thank you father oh thank you god Come, let's carry on reading. Now we will continue on reading the book of Genesis because uh, um, we actually I actually started it earlier and uh, I have not finished reading this yet. I jumped into <laughs> Proverbs, the book of Proverbs and the book of Psalms, and so now and also just finished reading the book of uh, um, John. So let's go back to. The book of Genesis, and we are now in Genesis chapter thirty-three. We have finished reading thirty-one and thirty-two in the prev previous uh, uh, chapters, and uh, you may you may go back and read it again. The last one was um, how how did uh, Israel Jacob's name become Israel? <laughs> He wrestles with God wrestling with God and so it's, you see here in chapter 28 uh, verse 28 of chapter 30 32 of Genesis verse 28 it says here that then you your name shall no longer be called Jacob but Israel this is how Israel got its name and so you may you may go back and read this chapter 32 in my previous vlog or on youtube and come let's carry on reading with this jacob and esau meet and you may also read this in the previous chapter why jacob and esau been separated they are brothers and so just go back to previous chapter and now let's carry on reading jacob and esau meet Now Jacob lifted his eyes and looked, and there Esau was coming, and with him were four hundred men. So he divided the children among Leah, Rachel, and the two maid servants, and he put the maid servants and their children in front, so Leah and her children behind. And Rachel and Joseph last. Then he crossed over before them and bowed down and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. It was Joseph. And then he came to Esau. But Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. Wow. Hallelujah. They are brothers, you see. They have not seen for each other for a long time and they must have missed each other. Oh God, I miss my family too, my loved ones, my beloved. But we will meet again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh Jesus. Thank you, God. That... Hallelujah. Okay, let's carry on reading. And they wept. Oh, verse five. And he lifted his he lifted his eyes and saw the woman and children and said, 
was this with you? And he said, The children whom God has graciously given your servants. Then the maid servants came near, they and the children, and bowed down. And Leah also came near with her children, and they bowed down. Afterward, Joseph and Rachel came near, and they bowed down. And then Esau said, What do you mean by all this company which I meet? And he said, These are to find favor in the sight of my Lord. But Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. And Jacob said, No, please. If I have now found favor in your sight, then receive my present from my hand, inasmuch as I have seen your face as though I had seen the face of God. And you were blessed with me. Because earlier on, actually, Jacob was hesitated to meet Esau because he was afraid that Esau might have get angry with him. <laughs> and so, never mind. Anyway, just read on. You can read to the next, to the chapter next, uh, before this. <laughs> Let's carry on reading. And Jacob said, No, please. If I have now found favor in your sight, then receive my present from my hand inasmuch as I have seen your face as though I had seen the face of God and you were pleased with me. Please take my blessing that is brought to you because God has dealt graciously with me and because I have enough. So he urged him and he took it. That's good. Then Esau said, Let us take our journey, let us go, and I will go before you. And Jacob said to him, My Lord knows that the children are weak, and the flocks and herds which are nursing are with me. And if the men should drive them hard, one day all the flock will die. Please let my Lord go on ahead before his servants. I will lead on slowly at a pace, which the livestock that go before me and the children are able to endure until I come to my Lord in the air. And Esau said, Now let me leave with you some of the people who are with me. But he said, What need is there? Let me find favor in the sight of my Lord. So Esau returned that day on his way to the ear, and uh, Jacob journeyed to Succoth, built himself a house, and made booths for his livestock, and theref therefore the name of the place is called Succoth. Succoth or Succoth. <laughs> anyway. Let's get on reading. And Jacob comes to Canaan. Then Jacob came safely to the city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan. Then he came to Padan Aram, and he pitched his tent before the city, and he brought the parcel of land where he had pitched his tent from the children of Hamor, Shechem's father, for one hundred pieces of money. Then he erected an altar there and called it El Elohi Israel. Mm, he make an altar there. An altar. The Dina Incident, chapter 34. Let's carry on reading. Now Dina, the daughter of Leah, whom she had borne to Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Sechem, the son of Hamor, the Hevite, prince of the country, saw her, 
He took her and lay with her and violated her. Hmm. His soul was strongly attracted to Dina and the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the young woman and spoke kindly to the young woman. So Sir James spoke to his father Hamor, saying, Get me this young woman as a wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dina, his daughter. Now his sons were with his livestock in that field. So Jacob held his peace until they came. Then Hamor, the father of Sechem, went out to Jacob to speak with him. And the sons of Jacob came in from the field. When they heard it, and the men were grieved and very angry because he had done disgraceful thing in Israel by lying with Jacob's daughter, a thing which ought not to be done. But Hamor spoke with uh, them, saying, The soul of my son, as he came, longs for your daughter. Please give her to him as a wife, and uh, make marriage with us. Give your daughters to us, and take our daughters to yourselves. So you shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you. Dwell and tread in it, and acquire possessions for yourselves in it. Then Shechem said to her father and her brothers, Let me find favor on your eyes, in your eyes, and whatever you say to me, I will give. He asked me, if there is so much dowry and gift, and I will give according to what you say to me. But give me the young woman as a wife. But the sons of Jacob answered Sechem and him or his father, spoke deceitfully because he had defiled Dina, their sister. And they said to them, We cannot do this thing to give your sister to one who is uncircumcised, for that would be a reproach to us. But on this condition, we will consent to you, if you will become as we are, if every male of you is circumcised, then we will, then we will give you our daughters to you, and we will take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you and we will become one people. But if you will not heed us and be circumcised, then we will take our daughter and be gone. And the words placed Hamor and Sir James Hamor's son. So the young man did not delay to do the thing because he delighted in Jacob's daughter. He was more honorable than all the household of his father. And Hamor and Sechem, his son, came to the gates of the city of their city, and spoke with the men of their city, saying, These men are at peace with us. Therefore, let them dwell in the land and trade in it, for indeed the land is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us as wives, and let us give them our daughters. Only on this condition will the men consent to dwell with us and to be one people. If every male among us is circumcised as they are circumcised, will not their livestock, their property, and every animal of theirs be ours? Only let us consent to them, and they will dwell with us, and all who went out of the gates of his city, he did hammer and Sechem and his, his son. Every male was circumcised, all who went out of the gates of his city. Now it came to pass on the third day, when they were in pain, that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dina's brothers, each took his sword and came boldly upon the city and killed all the males. Oh. 
and they killed him and they came his son with the edge of the sword and took Dina from the Sichem's house and went out. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain and plundered the city because their sister had been defiled. They took their sheep, their oxen, and their donkey that was in the city and was and was in the field, and uh, all their wealth, all their little ones and their wives they took captive, and they plundered even all that was in the houses. Then Jacob said to the Simon Levi, you have troubled me by making me of nudges about among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites, and since I am few in number, they will gather themselves together against me and kill me. I shall be destroyed by my household and I. But they said, Should he treat our sisters like a harlot? Yeah. Because they treat their sister like a harlot, and so they took revenge. And oh, Father God, but then Lord, you will still, do, you will still do the purpose of what you purpose for Jacob's family. And uh, oh God, you are the son of Kapia. But God, you are the God of uh, who will do the purpose of everyone as you have promised with Jacob and their families because uh, they also defiled Dina and they treat him like a harlot and so they are, the brothers Simon and uh, Levi were very very upset and uh, Father thank you Lord that you understand and you forgive Lord and in Jesus came you are forgiven and God Father God thank you that you also when Jacob and Esau met each other and they really wept and there was forgiveness there as well and love among the brothers where they were they were previously not in good terms but God you are the God of God your purpose will always prevail and thank you Father for your love Lord Jesus thank you for what we have learned from today again and what we have learned from this passages Lord and from the Old Testament, but thank you, God, Jesus, you came, and, oh, hallelujah, God, Jesus, you know everything, and that, Lord, we are forgiven, and that you have a purpose for our lives, and, uh, Father, thank you, oh, we bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father, thank you, Mga Mahal, for reading God's love letter with me, may the Lord bless you and keep you, May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord give you a good night's sleep tonight. For God gives his beloved a good sleep. Good night, mga mahal. God bless you. And take care. Let's read again tomorrow for the next chapter of the book of Genesis. Bye. God bless. Take care and good night. I love you. Jesus loves you. Bye.